Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what Tuesday's patch brought to Trove. In the background here you can see some footage of me clearing Uber 7 dungeons on my uh, 3.8k PR Lunar Lancer. Alright, let's start. Main update of the week is uh, Mantle of Power now being available to every single Trove player. Everyone is now able to access new wall types and build a stronger character. Next up we have a new thing called Leaderboard Contests. To take part, press K on your keyboard, go to the Contest tab. For more information, press K on your keyboard, go to Contest tab and here you're gonna see every single contest going on right now. There are 5 contests in progress, such as weekly quests completed. In this one you basically got one week to complete as many quests as you can and depending on the rank you'll end up on, you'll be rewarded. For example, the most hardcore player of Trove for this week will get a Princess Prancy Prance. Wow, what a name. If you're under 2.5k rank, like me, you'll be getting empowered gem boxes, but you'll also be getting the next two rewards, like 50 dragon coins in this case, and another 5 gem booster boxes. Yes, that means rank 1 gets every single reward in here. These were the rewards for weekly quests completed, let's move on to mastery points. Here you're getting rewarded for simply being a high level in mastery. As you might have noticed the rewards are different, rank 1 will be getting 999 party animals, these are pinatas. I have no problem with this uh, kind of contest, even though the people on the first pages will always get uh, greatly rewarded. But I think that's fair because being on this high score, being on the first pages, requires a great amount of dedication. And finally, the other three contests are based around your power rank on a specific class, for example your gunslinger, your neo ninja and your revenant. Prizes are the same on these, with the top reward being a chaos coin. Overall, I like the idea, so thumbs up to leaderboard contests. Next. They're saying they are still tweaking gems. They're also mentioning if uh, their tweaks will have a great impact on our uh, previous game actions, we will get compensated, so don't worry. Coming to store changes, it looks like you can't buy jade clovers for uh, cubits anymore, so if you wanna get jade clovers, you'll have to buy gem booster boxes. There's a new legendary dome that once filled will give you one empowered gem weekly. The bad side is you can only get it by paying real money. Hopefully that will change in the future. You also got your new mount for the week, this time we got a mount called Elder Boot, it's the top loot this week for the chaos chest. Let's end the video with some good news. Starting on April 28th you'll be getting bonuses for simply logging in. You'll last 5 days and these are the bonuses. Thursday will give you 10 gem booster boxes and that's kinda irrelevant since Thursday passed. Friday will give you 100 dragon coins. Saturday will bring you 1 empowered gem box. Sunday will give you a starry shmeep mount. And Monday will give you a 9th life gem level up booster. That's the highest tier booster you can get. Besides that, bunch of bug fixing and class balancing is going on in the background. That said, these were the main points that caught my attention this week. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.